hello i just got back from the eden mills festival and that was fun um so there's gonna be lots of dogs there's lots of dogs scrambling above my head so that's what you're hearing so that's just life they're just really happy to see us return okay so today's question is to webcomic or not to webcomic there's plenty of pros and cons to making a webcomic. There's plenty of pros and cons to making a comic that's gated by pay of some kind, like a paywall. Um, and in the end, it's personal preference. I've done both, and I think there's both benefits and there's cons to either option. Neither one is better than the other, and we should all stop fighting each other. So there you go. So I'm just going to go over the pros and cons of each. And that's my life. So let's start with the pros of making a webcomic. The first pro to making a webcomic is that you will get feedback, assuming that you're successful. As assuming that people are reading your comic, webcomics are really easy for getting feedback and comments and interaction. And just, I find that personally a lovely thing. Um, you don't get a lot of feedback when you're doing a um, graphic novel. You get some, but it's a lot less frequent. And it's just a lovely thing to get feedback as you're making something and just seeing reactions. It's just, it's just lovely. It's just something really nice to have. And I think it can be understated because I find that writing without feedback can kind of be really draining on me personally. Uh, the second pro to web comics is building hype. You get to build um, hype around your story through webcomics um, because they're accessible to everyone, because they're free, so all sorts of people read them. And when you actually do end up having a book release of some kind, you have a whole bunch of people who are already interested and will share your book release around and be really excited about like compilations and such. Whereas when you're dealing with something that isn't a webcomic, you're not going to have all that built-in audience already. Uh, you'll have your audience, which you can lean in on, or you're going to have to kind of market on your own. You're going to have to do that with webcomics, but the webcomic itself, itself tends to be a really good hype-boosting kind of tool, um, and it's just a nice thing to have. Uh, the next thing that I think that webcomics are great for is that they really show commitment. As an artist, if you are able to like hit deadlines consistently and bring something together, it really shows commitment. So if you later want to um, go into like traditional publishing or something like that, um, people are more willing to take a chance on you because they see that you can fulfill and complete a project, which is just a really great thing to do. And webcomics are great for that. It's just like a little personal work that's that you like and it's just great practice uh that's an and that is another great thing about webcomics is that because it's like independent and on your own you're allowed to just grow and explore and you can go into webcomics with really um low risk and just explore and have fun and they're great for practice and finally webcomics still sell you can still make money on webcomics um about as much as you can make on any other sort of comic. Um, don't listen to all those people who are gonna sass your comic and act like and act like you can't make any web comic money. And you can only make money if you have a pay gated comic. It's not true. People who like to read in book form like to read in book form, and they're not gonna read your online web comic anyways. Um, people still buy ebooks because they want to support you, and you're still gonna make money comicing money as a web comic maker so don't don't even don't even don't even mess with those people okay so what are the cons of web comic making then okay so number one uh i find a big con to it is that you have to set up a site and manage that site i mean there's lots of really easy ways to set up a site and manage things but it's still a lot I find that posting updates is always very stressful and it's just messing around with things. Even if you're going on like a curated, um, if you're going on a host site like Tapas and Webtoons, there's still like management that has to be done and continually upkept. Um, 
I mean, there's always going to be extra work and stuff, but particularly if you don't like managing websites and that like it's not gonna be great always doing a web comic um whereas when i'm working with something that's just like an ebook i only have to worry about setting it up once and it's done and i guess with web comics you could put out like a big batch update but even then it's stressful and along with that web comics uh one of the cons i find is like the constant deadline there's like a constant running deadline that never really ends um because you're always trying to reach page page pages by like certain weeks whereas trying to bring together like a single graphic novel it's just like one deadline you have to worry about or like several smaller deadlines but like web comics there's just a lot of work in it um if you're doing things like zines and whatnot that's that's the same deal but web comics there's a lot more guilt i find when i don't have uh, pages out um i feel that way with like magpie where i haven't updated in forever and that can that can weigh on you, and I, I find the deadline thing with web comics is quite strong compared to making like a single graphic novel or something. The next con is like, while you can make money, there there are some people who are always going to be like, oh, is this a web comic? And then they'll just read it for free, and you, you never make money off those people. They might have bought the book otherwise, but but sometimes it's not even really a lost sale because they would have never done it anyways or if they do like it they may end up supporting you supporting you later but it's still something that kind of sucks when someone just wants to read your book for free it, it's a con that comes with like the benefit of more people getting to sample your work so there's that um and i think the final thing that's a real big con to web comics is is uh rude comments <laughs> like not nice things that people will say i haven't really run into this super tons whenever you're getting like a lot more feedback you're gonna end up with um some negative feedback as well because like yes if you're receiving all your positive feedback you're also likely to be receiving all of your negative feedback people tend to be really nice but i've had some rude commenters and uh mean stuff said <laughs> But, you know, you, you kind of have to deal with that in whatever way is best for you. And that is a con to the webcomic thing. So let's move on then to paid comics. Like any comic with a paywall, be that um, you're going through traditional publishing or you're independently publishing or you're going through like Patreon and you're just updating on that. The pro to that is, again... Uh, kind of what I was saying right there is like there's lots of options for how you're going to do this. Um, you you can again, you can go traditional, you can go um, you can go independent or you could do any of those kind of things. And when you're going like independent or you're going um, when, you're, when you're going independent or with like a small press, um, you're going to find that. A lot of it is similar to making a webcomic, um, but there's some more pros when it comes to like uh, traditional publishing where you are, you, you might get a larger reach. You can get a large reach for comics, but like when you go with a traditional publishing house, you, you might have like help with publicity and stuff. Publishing houses will help you get your books into stores a lot easier than having to ring the doorbells of all of these places and talking to them, which I never do. Um, I'm completely sidetracked now, but like there is a chance for like larger, more traditional reach if you're doing like pay gated comics in a professional kind of way. Uh, another thing is uh, paying customers are nice. It's always nice to make money. Um, you can make money at web comics, but like you're guaranteed to make money when you're selling your comic unless you sell no comics in which case that's really sucky and i don't know why i'm mentioning it in the pros column and uh another um great thing about uh pay gators comics is that you tend to um get to go with your best foot forward whereas web comics you might be a little more sloppy because you're trying to get them out really fast and no one's buying them so you like you let some trash slip through but with uh pay gated comments comics you tend to get your best foot forward which is pretty nice and it's always nice to have like a nice high quality thing that you have out in the world 
Um, and I also find that pay gated comics, they really help you with follow through. I feel like my deadlines press on me a lot harder and like I'm able to get things out a lot quicker when something is like pay gated. That's a lie though, because Nine Point is not out and it's my only pay gated comic. But even before then, when we were working on like Magpie, which was pay gated for a while, it, it was a lot more pressure to get things done, which was kind of nice because things got done. Um, whereas Magpie now is definitely not getting done. Um, it's it's going to finish at some point. It's just it's been on the back burner because it's not paid. The cons to paywalling your comics, because like obviously making money and not giving things away for free. Uh, there's like lots of pros to that. Um, but there's also lots of cons that I think people don't tend to listen or that don't tend to think about, which is why I'm going to sound kind of negative on paywalled comics, even though I'm not really negative on them at all. But some of the reasons why you wouldn't want to pay gate your comics is that for one, it's kind of really hard to gain traction, especially if you don't really uh, have any sort of presence online. Like a webcomic, you can have something to show and give people samples and let people kind of see things. Whereas if you are pay gating something, it's going to be a lot harder to get people interested, especially if you can have a, a weirder title that doesn't really uh, prom- that doesn't really work well in advertising, but if people looked at it and read it, they'd be really into it. So yeah, it's very difficult to gain traction when you're new, as opposed to when you're later into your comic and career and people have some name recognition, you know how to work the con scene, you know how to get your book places. Um, but early on, it can be really hard to start out with your comic uh, and gain traction that way. And much the same, it's a lot harder to gain readership if that's what you're going for. Like, uh, if you're early on, um, it's harder to gain a readership. Um, even when I'd done comics before, I found it kind of stagnated readership once I wasn't offering things for free. It's kind of like the advice where uh, writers are recommended to like start a blog or something. Starting a webcomic is just a great way to have people recognize that you do comics and that you are part of the scene. Um, another difficulty is distribution. Um, if you're not working with a publishing house or or something like that, it can be hard to get people to see your book. Um, if you're doing e-stores, it's really hard to kind of convince people to like try a comic for money when there's so many free ones out there it can be difficult to get your book into people's hands like because you might have to always be doing cons and again that's really difficult um and on the flip side which i was kind of mentioning before it can take a really long time to get out paid work like if you're working with a publishing house it's going to take a very long time to get something done because they're very um, they get things done really well, but it takes a long time to do it because the editing process. Whereas with web comics, you get to kind of shoot it out into the world however you want. Um, and even when you're not looking at um, doing something uh, traditionally published, you're still going to run into the thing where you want to get a sizable amount created before you hit publish which can really cause things to like sit in your uh, computer files or sit in paper files that no one gets to see for a really long time and that can get kind of like um it can make you kind of antsy and it can also really start your perfectionism thing going if you're a perfectionist and you have a paywalled comic man um sometimes you just sit on it forever cough cough nine point and finally like i kind of opened with the exact opposite to web comics there's a very little feedback when it comes to creating a pay gated comic and maybe this is like a pro for some people who don't like feedback but for me it's a con because i love having feedback and i love seeing readers like discovering the story and coming up with like theories and things it gets me really hype and it gets it gets me amped and it gets me hyped and i'm just i'm ready 
to like see the, the what you guys have to say whereas like maybe if you get tons of these like rude types of comments it'd be more of like a pro that when you're doing a um pay gated comment comic you don't see that as much i don't know people who pay for things they don't really talk about them all the time it's weird or at least i just don't know where they're talking um whereas web comics i know to just look in my comment section whereas i think when people have things in their hands or on their computer they're not gonna go out and seek out a comment section to do it unless they really really liked it which is really cool but it's really rare and I know I'm not the only one who feels this way because I know a few people who have done like pay gated comics that just don't just they have smaller reaches or they don't know, know where their audience hangs out and they don't get to see all the comments and it can be kind of a downer. So yeah, those are my rambles about pay gated comics versus web comics. I'll probably talk about the different types of pay gated comment comics later. I think that's a topic. Because, man, even within that, there's, like, a whole bunch of breakdown here. Like, Patreon, man. How do you even do that? So, yeah. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!